Just go like this. Before you go on, because you can't shiver. And it's only 40, like 57. Like, people are going to make fun of us. See, don't you feel better? I feel Much. warmer. Yes. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Talking Shit. Talking Shit in... We Rose have a special Garden. location. Special location today. We're live at Rose Garden. This is Scotty's home. Because... Roxana is selling her house and has an open house today, which is yes. a really big deal. Very exciting, but also... So creepy. People walking through my home, going through my drawers for all I know. It I've, gives me the most anxiety. But you also think people are going to kidnap you. At all times. <laughs> I think that's so like I have so much phobia. paranoia. I've, I've taken all of myself out of the house already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a Looney Tune. So we're at Rose Gardens for this week's talking. We're shit. live at Rose Gardens. We're gonna get right into it. The best place to be. It is really cute. Since Roxana like redid it, it looks stunning. And I I literally had people over. I was entertaining. It's so fun this week. I love it here. I'm so proud of you. Okay. So, so we're drinking La Firm. Shout out to Juan that likes to tweet. No. <laughs> at Juan tweets stuff. We love you. Because you tweeted us that you bought La Firm. You bought La Firm. Your friends watched your show. Cheers. Cheers. This one's for you. Let's talk about your weekend and who ambushed I, you. <laughs> I had a fabulous weekend. My bathroom just got redone. I had everyone over my house all day. Oops, sorry. Everyone <laughs> all day in my house and night. We had so much fun. We had, like, everyone was here. It was so fun. And one, it was one of my friend's birthdays this weekend. And I had my first, like, confrontational... Um, What's fan? A, no, I wasn't a fan. Viewer? Uh, what's it called? Like a la, like a lash back. Is lash that, out? Lash out? I don't know what it's called. Backlash! Backlash! <laughs> yeah. We, I got my first backlash from talking shit. A woman came up to me who I am friends with and I know very well and was really upset about your thoughts on Meghan Markle. And I was like, you know... And the point of the show is, like, yes, we're talking shit, but it all comes from love. It's funny. We're trying to be we funny. We want to make you laugh. We want to laugh together. Like, it's like, it's we, totally from a good place. It's Yeah, and it's not it's not meant to, like, hurt feelings or anything like that. So we're sorry if we did that to you, lady, but <laughs> just we want you to laugh with us or at us and not yeah, take it personally. Fine. And by the way, Meghan Markle doesn't give. Yeah. ZFG. It's okay. She's fine, honey. She's laughing all the way to the to castle. To the queen, to the castle, Bye. to the tiara. <laughs> She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Okay. Okay. Versace, 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 Versace. Let's talk about it. Penelope is life. First of all, Penelope's... What? What? Penelope does not have an Italian accent. Talk it's like... Why do that? But it's everything. I'm obsessed with the show. But have you Googled old Aunt Tella? Have, have, have you Googled that every single episode is real and true and every single thing is true? The whole thing is true. It's so messed up. I'm also upset because uh, the show brings out Donatella's like gay hating. Like she was really conservative and really Catholic and she really like put that on her brother, which I'm upset about. But at that time, being gay was not as accepted as it is today. No. Uh, and in business, it would have really hurt them. So I think she's also thinking in terms of like, how are we going to make sure our company is sustainable. But. I'm not. It, it no, would, but it's true. But, but like, Gianna Risacci was but like. he chose to be quiet, too. In the beginning. But then he, she should. Uh, I understand the whole business thing. But she should have supported him when he was ready to come out. I agree. And say that he was HIV positive And say that he was I gay. Agree, he should have. She should have supported him. I understand. Absolutely. But the times are different. Like, pe of like, course the times right are different. Right now it's but much I'm more saying safe as a and open. No, I know. But I'm saying as a family member, yes, they had the business together. But it was really his choice. And she, as a she family member, she should have supported him. Yeah. Maybe today she would have. I think Mr. Today she oh, would have. She's living her life now. <laughs> she <laughs> would have. She misses him. I know. And this, her 73. Versace. Her Versace. What's your biggest pet peeve? How people say Versace. It's Versace. And then just <laughs> hashtag, hashtag blonde. <laughs> Her 73 questions in a row Epic. is the best. But Penelope is life. Penelope changing. as Donatella is life. And Ricky Martin's hot. Ricky so Martin hot. is so hot. I don't care. I, like, he's so hot. So, you know, I saw Donatella at Bar Barney's one day, like five in years ago. And Stop. I stopped. I'm never starstruck. No one ever impresses me. You don't I even know who anyone is. Ever. <laughs> but I saw this tall, blonde, thin lady from the back. I'm like, who is that? She turned around and I'm like, I actually fully stopped. No, no, no. I. I the world stopped. I would have died. She's like epic. She's like she's energy. Everything. Yeah. No, she's everything. Amazing. You know, Courtney's dad is friends with the Lee client. Lee, what's, what's the guy's name that he killed in the garage? The businessman? The first yeah. older businessman? He he's stole the watch? He's friends with the wife. Stop. He's friends with the wife still. The QVC star? I've met her before. Stop. Yeah. 
wow, we need to like see if go we can in get... on Courtney's dad. I know. No, you're like, get no, info. We... <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't know. Have I know. Courtney Cohen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, Courtney Cohen. Next, Khloe Kardashian is killing the baby bump style, and her face is she perfect. Has she looks so good? Her outfits are on Beautiful. point. Beautiful. She is not hiding the bump. She is showing it, working the bump. Feeling the bump, her hair and makeup look fabulous. Gorgeous. Her Valentine's Day tube top gorgeous dress with her sexy legs and bump with her hot husband. Like, Chloe, we're so happy they, for you. I don't think they're married. Yet. But they're Whatever. basically the same thing. Anyway, she's killing it. Her her she's pregnancy so style amazing, yeah. is on point. She's so killing it's beautiful. it. I'm obsessed with her. And like, she's like, her face hasn't changed at all. She looks so My nose good. is going to be this wide when I get <laughs> pregnant. And she's like, perfect, looks the same. How much mom, How much did, weight did your mom gain? 75 pounds. <laughs> and she's also 5'2". Like, I'm 5'1", but <laughs> I'm going to be rolling down the hill. I'm really not. I, don't worry. I'll still be your friend. No, you won't. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> you, you might ignore me for the last four months. <laughs> no, I, and hello. Everyone loves a pregnant friend and we'll get so much attention. Oh, my God. Um, Olympics. You love the Olympics. He even called AT and T just to get it on his TV. For. First of all, I'm paying fifty dollars a month for <laughs> yes, for Direct TV. I have to cancel. I made sure it wasn't a whole year. It's so expensive. I'm paying fifty dollars for Direct TV now. I was on the phone with AT and T for an hour, and then the woman when I said I want to stream the Olympics right away tonight because it's men's figure skating and it's the short, and I need to see Adam Rippon. She goes, okay, blah 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 blah. Installation date with AT and T Universe. I go, installation Suck date. I want to like. I want to. I want to like. Watch right now. now. She goes. Oh, okay. So you need Direct TV now. After an hour, it was terrible. I tweeted them. They haven't tweeted me back. But I'm gonna scream when I. I love tweeting. Man, don't oh, get yeah, my yeah. way. She's the one that talks. She usually writes my tweeting mean messages and gets everything handled. Anyway, Adam but Rippen, he's, star of he the show. He could be your cousin or your brother. Everyone gets that. He looks. That. Just, even Nick was like. He's way he looks skinny. Like Scotty. No, he's. He's muscly, not skinny. He has like so th- every I muscle popping out. Zero percent. His butt is like a. Like a bulk of muscle. Zero percent body. I wish I could it's look like crazy. that. But I mean, he's also five nine, so it's like five ten. He's that tall for a figure skater? Yeah, he's like tall. He, I mean, he's like no, that's like the normal height. Oh, no, they're all short. Anyway, he was the star of the show. He didn't. He did really good in the short. He didn't get a medal in the finals, but he didn't care, and he was so happy that he made such an impression on everyone, which is a really big deal. Everyone he's a was good obsessed sport. with him. He's a great sport. Yeah. He was the. America's sweetheart of the Olympics, and he opened everyone's eyes to see like how it is to be yourself and gay and fun I'm and proud not of it care. And open, and yeah. ZFG's legit. ZFG's and Gus Kenworthy, the skier, he like does like the crazy like slope thing where you like jump in the air and half do a million flips. Ha- no, half pipe is snowboarder. He like is a skier. He like goes down downhill ski or something. Does a million flips. Look at this uh, Olympic ha- <laughs> pro. <laughs> There's only because there's all gays involved. <laughs> Um, and everyone's hot, by the way. The boys yeah. are so hot. Um, he also didn't medal, but he had the most amazing experience. His live on camera, him and his boyfriend, they kissed on camera. It was such a big Aww. deal. It was so amazing for little kids to like see boys kissing. Aww, like, that's so nice. <laughs> that's so real. Yeah, it's real life. So it's about time. Those are my highlights of the Olympics. Okay. And also, ice dancing is on this week. Thank What's God. Ice dancing. Like. It's like everything. Salsa, yeah, and they have to do like three twizzles. Men it's or called women? Men and women. It's called twizzles. And they have to do three perfect A twizzle? <laughs> yeah. We're living in a time of gay, not a time of straight. It's true. <laughs> we are. Straight men are irrelevant. No. It's all about women and gays. Straight it's men literally, are still hot. No, they have their moment <laughs> for the past so many hundred years. It's all about women and gays. Okay. Okay. Let's discuss Fashion New week. York Fashion Week. Okay. I only have one thing to say about New York Fashion Week. What is it? You have to be a real supermodel to pull off these Fashion Week looks, and that's all I'm saying. Our new favorite game, we decided, I think a lot of people said Sip or Spill, which, which I love. thought was the cutest love. name ever, Sip or Spill. And so our new favorite thing is to rock, Roxy is the wild card, so she writes down things, and then I have to Sip or Spill. So, go. Okay, so here we go. The first Don't one. Don't show me. P. Diddy. I love P. Diddy. He's so scary. He's so cool. His Instagrams are scary. He's aggressive. I'm scared of him. No, he's dancing in the mirror. It reminds me of you in his underwear. He's like dancing in the mirror. It's literally you. Wait, in Versace, when the guy killed the guy who was dancing in his speedo, it was you. I know. That was literally you. Didn't you didn't see my Instagram? No. 
I said me dancing in my speedo. I didn't watch it. And then I said it. actual I footage. Yesterday. I said actual footage of me dancing in my speedo. But I watched it yesterday. Oh, and I didn't it. see it until oh, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's too gay for Nicholas. So you've been yeah, watching it by yourself. By myself. Yeah. Literally, he's like dancing. I'm done. It's fine. I'm still dancing. Yeah. It's literally you. <laughs> I need I need to get to that body though. I could totally have that body. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was dying. Um, okay. I love P Diddy. He scares me. He's I too l- aggressive. No, he's fabulous. He scares me. I'm obsessed with him. And Cassie's beautiful. And his, oh my god, I love her. She's beautiful. Stunning. She. He's flawless. So, I mean. Flawless. Her face. I know. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. Her body, everything. Okay, Ivanka Trump. We're talking about her again. Did we, did we sip or spill? Oh, I don't even care. I'm so over her. I'll sip and spell. I'm sipping. Um, Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> I'm gonna sip. I'm gonna sip too. I feel like she doesn't deserve us to talk about her. Something feels very shady to me. <laughs> well, you're, you're supposed to sip or spell. <laughs> well, I'm just saying that. Okay. Let's talk about Jamie Foxx's hair plugs. I don't know what you're talking about. He got hair plugs. How do you know? You need to show me. Because his forehead is to here now. No, you need to show me a picture. Was he with Katie Holmes and her new short haircut? I just saw him at a party. Are you in real life? Yeah. In Vegas? No, it's <gasps> a party. What party? The one with a charity event for. Um, I have. I don't see. I'll I don't, show you. I haven't seen that. Oh really? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Maybe he's growing his hair in? I don't think so. Oh. Oh. That's a hair plug, right? I don't know. Oh, and he has a tattoo in the back to cover the scar. Oh, really? Yeah, because that's where they usually take the hair from. Oh, so it is a hair plug. See, that was received oh. before. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Oh my should we God. sip or should we <laughs> We already spilled, honey. Oops. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's it? Wild. That's no, I have one more. Kate uh, Kate Middleton's green dress to the BAFTA Awards. Oh, you don't know? I don't know what. Royals cannot wear black unless it's a funeral. And that's why. And that's why she wore the black sash around her green dress. People are giving protocol. so much hate. No, it's protocol. It's protocol. Oh, really, is it? Royals cannot wear black unless it's a funeral. Really? Yeah, it was all over the news because everyone was giving her so much shit. Ah. And then they had to say, hey, it was a really tough decision for her because... She didn't have a choice. Yeah, in the, in the royal family, you're not supposed to wear... You do not wear black unless it's a funeral. And so she had to pick and choose what her battle was. And so, you know... I respect that. She went with the queen. And okay. Honey, she's a princess. She can do whatever she wants. Exactly. And she did give a nod to the black. She gave yeah, a little the, and cute black sash and the, the back. Yeah, she looks great. True. They looks great. She looks beautiful. She She's looks, pregnant. I know. She looks stunning. Crazy. Okay. She is beautiful. Well, I could go on for 10 more minutes, but we're really trying to keep it short. So Hope you like my short and sweet <laughs> talking shit this week. Don't forget to hashtag us. Hashtag talking shit. I promise. I Give can't. us more topics to talk about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give us your ideas. Tell us what you want to hear us to talk shit about. And don't forget to hashtag talking shit so we can see it in Twitter, on YouTube, and we can respond to all your questions and comments. And don't forget, it's all in good fun, and we love everyone deep down. Yeah. We're all love. Love is love is love is love. Love is love.